Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Unacademy Need English channel. We hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. So since a lot of students were asking me about what kind of timetable should we follow, right? So that we can chase our weekly targets properly, right? So my dear students, first of all, cracking the NEET examination, it's not the game of one day. It's not the game of one week. It's not the game of one month. It is minimum the game of 6 to 12 months basically, right? So dear students, in this particular session, which is going to be very short and precise, I'll just take like 5 to 6 minutes. I'll be giving you one schedule, one timetable, which you are going to follow. There will be a separate timetable for all the YouTube learners, the ones who actually study only from YouTube. And there will be one more timetable for all the students who are either school going or they have joined some offline institution as well. So first of all, I'll talk about the YouTube learners. YouTube learners are the ones who actually have taken, I mean, they get trained from particularly the YouTube lectures, okay? My dear students, if I particularly talk about the YouTube learners, let me tell you, you have to exert more than the ones who have joined the paid batches or who have joined the offline institutions. Right? You have to exert more. That means you have to give more time towards your studies. And apart from that, you have to remain consistent because particularly for you, consistency plays a role here. Because learning from YouTube, there is one, only one drawback, right? which I think is basically that students who actually get trained from YouTube, they do not remain consistent all the time. They do not follow all the live sessions. Whenever they feel like watching the recording, Right? They'll watch the recordings on their own. But you do not have to do that. My dear students, particularly for you guys, consistency, you have to keep in mind all the time. So what exactly you should do? So I would suggest you guys to give minimum of 10 hours right, every day. And it's not like you'll be following it for a week or two weeks or so. No. Since, as I keep on telling you all the time, you have to make your weekly targets Till your weekly targets are not accomplished. Right? Till then, you have to keep on going. You have to keep on chasing. If it takes you 10 hours every day, just give those 10 hours. If it takes you 12 hours every day to complete the weekly target, just give 12 hours. Right? So my dear students, I would suggest you guys to wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning. It looks difficult. It might be difficult in the beginning. But once you get used to it, once you follow it for like 7 days, then automatically, It'll, be, it'll become a routine for you, right? So wake up time has to be 6 a.m. And dear students, from 7 to 10 a.m., it should be your biology time because, because it's a fact, basically, in the morning, you try to memorize things a lot. I mean, you memorize things a lot, right? Perfect. Your mind works the most in the morning time for majority of the people, right? Not for all, for majority, I'm saying, right? So 7 to 10 a.m. should be your biology time, your revision, Right, whatever you study from the YouTube lectures, right? Okay, or whatever you have studied on your own. Perfect. So 7 to 10 a.m. has to be your biology time. Then, my dear students, I'm giving you one, one hour break so that you can refresh yourself, right? So that you can get that positive energy back. Perfect. Then again, you'll start from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And this has to be your chemistry time. Then one hour break again. One hour break again. Sorry, two hours breaks again. It's 11 to 1. Then 1 to 2, 2 to 3. Two hours break I'm giving you for your lunch and your resting time. Perfect. Right? So my dear students, again you'll be starting from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. It's going to be your physics time. And this particular slot from 5 to 10, it has to be the slot of YouTube learning. Right? Whatever subject you'll be, you would want to study, right? You have to study that in this particular time duration. 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. You have to complete your YouTube lectures. Okay? And apart from that, if you must be thinking like whether we have to watch the lectures in these in, 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 in these particular durations, no. This has to be for solving, for solving the materials, right? For the revision purpose, for studying the books in a particular subject. These slots are basically assigned for that. And my dear students, simple 11 to 12 p.m. That should be your revision time. Whatever you have studied for the day, right? Whatever concepts you have discussed, either in the YouTube sessions, or in these particular slots, whatever you have studied. Perfect. 
Just revise that for last one hour. So that you can summarize all the things which you have discussed, which you have studied on a particular day. Now, dear students, what about those who exactly are school going students or they go to some offline institutions? What about them exactly? So, first of all, this particular slot, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., right? This will be your school timing, or I can say this will be your offline coaching timing, right? Perfect. So, this has to be dedicated to the offline coaching. Perfect. So, when you get home, when you get home, or when you wake up in the morning, I would want you guys again to wake up at 6 a.m., right? And then you'll start from 6 30. 6 30 to 8 again should be your biology time as well. So whatever you have discussed in the school, whatever you have discussed in the offline institution, right? Try to follow the same chapters, right? In your biology in this morning slot. Perfect. So that you can properly memorize things in biology. Then 4 p.m. Then 4 p.m. See, you'll be back home at 2 p.m. Then 2 p.m. till 4 p.m. It's going to be again your break time. Then at 4, you'll start again. 4 to 6 has to be your chemistry. Then 7 to 9 has to be your physics as well. Right? Again, I'm giving one hour break in between. And at the same time, my dear students, 10 p.m. to 11.30, it should be again your biology time. Right? So basically, you are giving a lot of time in the offline. Right? That's why I have kept less time for your, it's not actually less time, it's like five to six hours of self-study, I mean. Right? Apart from the coaching, five to six hours of self-study, you also have to do. And in these five to six hours, whatever you are doing, if you are solving, if you are studying books, right? It's completely your choice because you have made the weekly target. You are the ones who are going to make the weekly target. You are the ones who are going to follow the weekly target, who are going to chase the weekly target. And whatever things are required to chase the weekly target properly, all those things you can do in these particular slots over here, right? So make this a proper routine, my dear students. It's not like you'll be following this a week or two weeks. Follow it completely to your neat examination. And 100% sure if you try to study for eight plus hours a day, right? Be your schooling, non-schooling students. I'm 100% sure, guys, you can easily complete your syllabus with all the mock tests, with all the test series, every single thing, right? And dear students, if you are not following any test series yet, I would suggest you guys to follow the test series right now. If you have not joined the test series, join the test series right now, right? Because that plays a crucial role, my dear students, while your preparation. Perfect. Right? Because you get to know about the time management. Majority of the students, they exactly fail in the examination because they have no idea how to manage time. And how do you manage exactly the time? You get used to that by writing different mock tests right? through a particular test series. So I would suggest you guys to join the test series, which we have launched a few days back. Right, The link is there in the description box of the video. Perfect. I've already told you exactly what all, I mean, on every Sunday, we keep on having a test on an academy platform in which the questions are particularly designed for by us, right? After every test, there will be a test discussion. You know it. Perfect. So if you have not joined that test series yet, please and please do join that test series, which is absolutely at the minimal cost, right? And my dear students, the best part is on every Sunday, we have kept the test. Perfect. If by chance you are unable to write it on Sunday because you have not completed your portion till Sunday, you can write the same test on Monday, on Tuesday, on Thursday, according to your convenience. Right? That is one more liberty which we have kept for all of you. And after every test, this, after every test, there will be the test discussion by us only, by the Avengers team on the platform. Perfect. There are in total 24 tests, which I would want you guys to write properly. Okay? So take the printout of the OMR sheet and try to fill the circles basically at home itself. Try to analyze your score, right? And wherever you feel any sort of difficulty, right? You can let us know on the Telegram group, which we are going to make in this particular test series, right? There will be a put separate Telegram group for the test series, right? So you will be joining that as well, right? So do get enrolled as soon as possible. This was a very small session in which I just wanted to share a particular strategic timetable, right? Which you must follow throughout the preparation phase so that you can shoot up your ranks in your NEET 2024 examination. So with this, I'll be taking a leave. Take care. God bless you all and love you all. Bye guys. Take care.